Hello, today is April 28th. It's about 12 o'clock right now. It's a beautiful Sunday. I uh, just got done uh, re requeening uh, that first hive right now that you see down there. Uh, right now we do have seven hives, as you can see. And uh, I'll go through the list of uh, what we're doing on each one of them and uh, give a quick update on those. But uh, the first one, as you see, we just requeened it. Uh, I would get a little closer, but the bees are a little pesky today. And uh, as you can see, they're probably bouncing off my phone and uh, off my veil right now. So I don't want to get too close for them to settle back down. But on that first hive, uh, we tried a split, and the split did not succeed. So I don't want to give up on that hive yet. So I went out today and got a new queen from a, a local store here called To Be or Not To Be. Great store if you guys have a good chance to stop by. But um, they, uh, they had a queen that I could buy from them. And... Uh, Put it back into that one there's still some worker bees that were in there so hopefully with the new queen and the remaining worker bees in there that hive can still recover uh, it's going to be questionable but uh, you don't want to give up on it yet uh, the second hive over is uh, a hive from last year uh, it put out about 15 pounds of honey for us nothing nothing too much um, compared to the other ones that we got from those but uh, hopefully it came through winter okay and it'll do better this year uh, just to help it get started, um, I just uh, put a little sh extra sugar water on there to get it started. And uh, the bees are doing a pretty good job so far bringing in pollen. Not as much activity on that one as, as I would like, but, you know, I still have hope that we can get something out of it. The third one over is our first package that we had for the year. Um, we got our package of bees. It's a three-pound package of bees that comes from a uh, uh, hive up, uh, apiary up in uh, Grand Junction. I believe the guy takes his bees out to California for this winter, brings them back, splits them out, and then sells out uh, packages. It's a three pound package, which includes a queen and about four or 5,000 bees. Um, it just helps get the hive started. Uh, we went ahead and put that in there last weekend. I checked on it yesterday, and it's off to a good start. Um, they have a lot, of, a lot of ahead of for them to do to get ready for the season, but uh, you know they did pretty good last year with the other packages, so this year's package should be pretty good too. That fourth one over, and I'm not sure if you can see it from way back here, but uh, the fourth hive over is from last year. It was an incredible hive from last year. I was quite impressed with all the honey we got from it. Uh, this year, we did a split from it, and even after the split, there's still so many bees in there. Uh, I'm almost wondering if I need to do another split just to keep it from swarming away. Uh, but there's a great queen in there, and really just pumping out bees, and they're filling all the frames up with larvae. Uh, honey supplies for themselves and once they get enough honey supplies for themselves that's when I start putting on the honey supers to get honey for uh, harvesting but just have to keep monitoring their, their resources make sure they're set up for the year uh, the fifth one over is another one from last year um, that one I did a split from also and a lot of great activity on that one so I'm pretty good um, I probably won't ever have to worry about doing another split on that one this year but uh, it's pretty much ready to go to start producing uh, its own resources and get it set up for the season and then once that's done again I'll throw some honey supers on it. The sixth one over is our uh, second package that we got this year. We got a total of two packages, brand new packages. Uh, that second package is doing great too. I opened it last uh, yesterday on Saturday and uh, they uh, were doing great. Uh, the queen was already laying eggs. I was quite happy to see that do have some sugar water on there right now just to help them pull out their honeycomb and uh, get ready for the season. And then finally that seventh one over is the result of one of our splits. Um, I checked that one yesterday. Uh, with the split we pulled the old queen over into that new split and then we scored the old frames or the, the old high frames so they would produce a new queen. Hopefully that works out. Uh, it's our first time trying. It's called on the spot uh, splitting. And uh, we'll want to see what we can do to help raise our own queens become more self-sufficient. But uh, that last hive, I checked it yesterday, they uh, are already producing, uh, uh, the queen's already producing larvae and all that, the, the, the frames. Uh, the worker bees are doing great going out harvesting. Um, I can see pollen coming in and going in on that one. So uh, I'm, I'm really ha optimistic about that last hive. Hopefully we can get some, you know, five or six of these hives really taken off this year. Uh, there's a couple questionable ones, but uh, not too worried yet about those. Um, it's 
a great opportunity to be down here at the ranch. Uh, there's plenty of resources for them to uh, use and get their pipes started. So hopefully with all that, um, we can keep going and have a great season. Just uh, gonna hopefully not make this too unsteady for you. Just want to show you the ranch a little bit. It's a beautiful, beautiful ranch that I'm allowed to uh, have my beehives on. It's about a thousand acres. Um, if you ever get the chance, the uh, meat from this ranch is the best you're ever gonna have. It's called the Corner Post Ranch. Um, they rotate their livestock around uh, between the pigs, the cows, uh, the cattle, and the chickens, and the turkeys, and all that. They rotate them around the different areas, so they all have the opportunity to turn up the soil, eat natural grass. It's some of the best meat you're ever gonna have, but um, I was so fortunate to have my house out here. I'm glad to be able to partner up with them. All right, I hope you guys all have a great week. Thanks.